Happy day to all. This is Nivedita, founder of Sri Ahana Physiotherapy Academy. And our today's topic will be Young's Modulus of Elasticity. This Young's Modulus of Elasticity we are going to see in terms of connective tissues. So elasticity normally is the phenomena where an external force when it acts on an object, it deforms and again reforms to its original form. So this is known as the elastic property of a material. The same way, the modulus of elasticity is nothing but the resistive force that is produced by the object to an external force. Okay, the resistance that is shown by the object to an external force is the modulus of elasticity or the Young's modulus. So when we take the connective tissues, be it the bone, the ligament or the muscle, the modulus of elasticity varies for different materials. The modulus of bone will be approximately like the modulus of uh, wood. So when you take for ligaments, it will be little less. So coming to the graph between the stress and strain that will show the amount of stiffness with the linear region in the graph, we will be knowing the amount of stiffness of that material. So moving to the graph, here we have the stress and here we have the strain. This part shows the connective tissue. This connective tissue at the toe region will not undergo any change, no elongation, nothing. It will be in its original form. What happens is, when it is subjected to 1% strain, it comes to elastic region. In the elastic region, it is elongated, but not to an extent of failure or micro failure. Here, the region between A to B decides the stiffness of the material. When it is very steep, when this linear region, this the steep is very uh, sharp, what happens is the stiffness of the material will be high. The complaints will be low. For example, if we take wood, the stiffness will be more and the complaints will be less. The same way, when it is moving beyond point B to C, it is plastic region. It is a plastic region and the amount of strain will be between 4 to 8 percent. Here micro failure of the tissue occurs. This micro failure is nothing but more stress is being put on the tissue so that it will not come back. Even if you remove the force, the tissue will not be able to reform back to its original. So this is the point of micro failure. What is macro failure? Beyond point C, beyond 8% of strain, what happens is the tissue gets ruptured. It gets ruptured because it cannot withstand more than this. So this is a macro failure of the connective tissue. To explain the property of elasticity, I have taken here this normal rubber band to show you the deformation and returning back to original. Again, I put it into maximum stress and strain so that it enters failure. Failure is nothing but the rupture of the tissue in our case, in the instance that we take. Talking about the ligament that is being subjected to stress and strain, in the toe region, it is being initiated to receive the force, that is the stress and strain is being put upon the ligament. So it is just an initiation point. So in the A to B, the linear region, slowly the strain and stress, they tend to increase, further elongating the tissue. What happens in region B to C is, the ligament is being stretched to the extent where it cannot return to the original. So here it undergoes micro damage or micro failure. Okay. So now beyond the point C, at the point C what happens is ultimate stress and strain occurs where the tissue cannot respond and it breaks. That is it gets damaged. So this point between B to C is called as a plastic region and the point C where the ligament breaks is termed as a macro failure. The point between B to C is termed as plastic region and here the ligament undergoes certain amount of damage. You can say for example grade 1 and 2 ligament damage tear occurs in this region in the plastic region between B to C where it is between 4 to 8 percent of strain. So beyond C that is beyond the stage of macro failure what happens is the tissue breaks and ruptures completely. It comes under grade 3 ligament sprain. So I hope with this example, 
it would be clear about the young's modulus of elasticity for the connective tissues for you to understand to know about stress and strain watch our previous video on stress strain and loading of connective tissues thank you